Kakuma refugee camp is located in the northwest part of Kenya, 814 kilometers from the capital, Nairobi. The refugee camp hosts a population close to 118,000 refugees and asylum seekers. A fraction of the large refugee population are the thousands of high school students that graduate each year. With only a few institutions that offer competitive positions for post-secondary courses, many of the graduates are left in a state of limbo on where to go next. In-zone higher education is one of the initiatives that provide for virtual learning through online courses. Enrolled students get to interact virtually with the learners from around the world and also learn through collaboration and peer learning. The InZone Learning Hub, located in Kakumatu, facilitates such learning via a learning platform that learns on computers and with installed solar panel to power the computers and ventilation system. Through the InZone Lab, higher education is made possible for the refugee community within their marginalized vicinity where there is not even one university. Inzon has installed only one lab in the entire refugee camp. The learning hub can barely accommodate a dozen students at a time. We must ask ourselves just how sustainable is the lab and how accessible can it be for more refugees that are in dire need of post-secondary education? There are a number of challenges that threaten the sustainability of the lab, which can be addressed through effective innovation from stakeholders. First, there is only one lab for a thousand of runners who need access. And though the Inzon tried to install the lab in a central location in Kakumatu, it is still distant from some parts of the camp which makes it difficult, especially for women students who need safe transportation to the lab. The situation is worse for runners from Kakuma 1 and Kakuma 3, who have to cross the seasonal river, which is always flooded during the rain seasons. More of these running hubs need to be established at different locations throughout the camp, and by doing so, the accessibility for more runners will be enhanced and doing away with the inconvenience of walking long distances to the hub. Kakuma, being located in the lowlands, is always affected by extreme weather conditions. Temperatures can rise to over 40 degrees Celsius during the dry seasons, accompanied by winds that can go up to 15 miles per hour, stirring up the loose dust in the streets. The devastation that the rain brings is just unspeakable. Those who live near rivers being affected the most. All of this has potentially serious consequences for the learning hubs. The weather in Kakuma certainly affects the lab and its equipment. For the machine to be durable, the temperature has to be kept low and dust needs to be kept out. But the adverse weather conditions are a challenge. Needless to say, a reliable power supply needs to be put in place to keep the machine up and running. If we can't have enough power for the AC, we can't maintain the required temperature and hence premature breakdown of electrical equipment or cars. The solar panels need to be upgraded or alternatively necessary steps should be taken for breakup power supply. Through appropriate leaking, to the national power grid to reach Kakuma. Another important issue is that flood can cause a lot of damage, especially now that there are immense threat of El Nino rains. Engineers need to take primitive measures to secure structure before El Nino happens. The other challenge is that in, in zone, lab lacks an integrated library system for effective learning to take place. A well-equipped library should be put in place. A library uh, with a constellable leading space is very important to a higher education facility. The internet connectivity is also a hurdle that we need to navigate. Nothing can be more frustrating than not being able 
to access materials from the internet or to fail to submit the assignments on time just because of internet failure. I have been there several times and it is not a good feeling. A faster connectivity will ensure a smooth operation. With such projects like Enzons getting more complex, good governance through a functional administrative body is essential. Refugees are confident that if empowered, they can take up leadership responsibilities and run the project. As I said it before, Inzon considers the human-centered approach as the pillar to empowerment of the community that it serves. This empowerment is realized from the fact that Inzon Lab is managed by refugees. I'm an example among other local managers or coordinators of the Inzon's activity here in the camp. I'm currently managing the lab and tutoring the learners of the French MOOC course. There is a need for experience. Uh, for expanding the Learning Hub idea because it is bringing substantial improvement and nourished hope in the field of higher education in refugee camp. The lab idea and the lab hack project designed to improve the design and the availability of the Learning Hub is very useful for refugee learners. That is why Learning Hubs need to be redesigned to become more sustainable and robust and equipped with additional appropriate learning devices and connectivity in and around the learning hub.